this overview, we are going to briefly demonstrate the dashboard printing feature introduced in DHIS 235. In order to demonstrate this feature, I am going to use the dashboard that I currently have open. We can quickly access the dashboard printing feature by selecting the More button on the dashboard itself. We can then scroll down to the Print option within this menu. We can see that there are two layouts we can select from when we want to print the dashboard. This includes Dashboard Layout, which will print the dashboard according to the layout we see on screen, and the One Item Per Page Layout, which will print out each dashboard item on its own page, using the current dashboard layout to determine the order of the pages in the printout. Let's have a quick look at the Dashboard Layout option. When I select this option, it will take me to a print preview page. The first page of the printout is the dashboard name. If I scroll down, I can then see the dashboard items according to the layout that is defined on the dashboard itself. We can go back to the dashboard by selecting Exit Print Preview. Let's now have a look at the One Item Per Page option. We go to More, Print, and then select One Item Per Page from the menu. If I scroll down, then we can see that one dashboard item is added per page of the printout. This option gives a bit more room for charts and maps to be displayed. In this scenario, let us say this is our preferred option of printing the dashboard. Select the Print button in order to print the dashboard. From here, we can either print it to a PDF so we can save and share it electronically, or we can make physical printouts as required. In this example, I will save it as a PDF. Using this option, we can view it now on our device and use it as needed. This feature should be useful in allowing you to quickly print your dashboard, either physically or electronically, without having to take screenshots and stitch dashboard items together. We look forward to hearing your comments on this feature. For any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on the Community of Practice.